Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to evaluate a function. Uh, we are working on Excel Q7, evaluate a function. So for this assignment, you need to have the knowledge to decide whether you are dealing with a function or not. So once you get that done, uh, you can see how to find the value of any given function. For those, uh, you might want to check out uh, my two other videos for Q4 and Q5 on IXL. Uh, they're going to be at the top. Uh, if you don't know how to decide whether a table is a function or how to apply a vertical line test uh, to decide if a graph is just a relation or a function, watch those two videos and then come back to this one. So uh, let's get started. The first question says use the following function. Now we know that we are dealing with a function to find the value of f of 9. So f of 9 basically tells us wherever you see that x like here and here plug in that number plug in that 9 so I'm rewriting my function first let me just fix that uh, the function is 6 times x I'm going to find the value of f of 9 that basically tells me plug in 9 wherever you see that x I just started it instead of that x I put 9 and then on the right side it is 6 times x but now that my x is 9 that's what I need to find what is 6 times 9 so that would be 54 so if you need help with like the basic multiplication uh, you might want to use Desmos graphing calculator uh, all you have to do is just type the numbers that's a simple calculator okay so here is the second question it gives us the definition of the function it says the value of f of x equals to 6 times x minus 9 basically it tells us whatever your x multiply that value by 6 first and then subtract 9 so let's get started and then start plugging in our numbers so I'm trying to find f of 3 realize that x turns into 3 it's 6 times 3 now there's no x anymore then minus 9 6 times 3 is 18 and then subtract 9 from 18 you get 9 so the answer to this question would be 9 okay let's do this one it gives us the original function it says that the function itself equals to x over 128 and then we are going to find the value of f of 128 what does that mean again wherever you see x that turns into 128 plug it in on the right side I have x in the denom in the numerator so instead of this right here I'm gonna plug in 128 and then keep the rest of the right side the same divided by 128 if you divide the number by itself the answer is going to be 1 so there we go okay this one is the same you're gonna plug in 8 the answer is gonna be 27 all you have to do is take this 8 plug it in 4 times 8 is 32 minus 5 is going to be 27 I'm gonna see if the quest okay it got a little harder over here now let's do this one first and then I will show you a shortcut uh, because if your equation is a little complicated like this if you have negatives if you have squares uh, or cubes then you might want to rely on Desmos or you might want to use it to double check your work before you submit it so let's start with our original function f of x equals negative 4 minus x squared you're gonna start having these sort of questions once you reach to like 40 points or so now I'm going to plug in negative 8 wherever I see that x x turns into negative 8 so negative 4 drop it down minus now I have the x so that x is squared right and it, the value of that x is negative 8 now so this right here is very important because if he, uh, 
here is why I put that negative 8 inside that parentheses because if I put it inside the parentheses the value is going to be negative 8 multiplied by itself and the answer when you multiply two negative numbers it is going to be positive 64 okay now let's see what happens if, I, if you forget about that parentheses so negative 8 squared let's see the value of this there's that, that negative but negative is not squared now it is not inside the parentheses the 8 is the only thing that you are going to multiply by itself 8 times 8 because this is what it says there's no parentheses it doesn't tell us to uh, multiply the negative by itself so keep that negative because we are not multiplying it by another negative to turn it into positive now multiply your numbers that's 64 now when you put it in a parentheses it turns into positive 64 if you forget about the parentheses uh, it becomes negative 64 that's a huge difference the difference between those two numbers is 128 one of them is negative 64 the other one is positive 64 there's a huge gap between those two numbers on the number line so it's not just a negative it's like the difference is 128 so that's why it is important uh, to put the negative numbers inside parentheses when you plug them in now we figured that if we put the negative 8 inside the parentheses it equals to positive 64 right let's just plug it in then like the expression that I circled over here equals to 64 the circle equals to 64 positive 64 but then right be in front of it there is a negative and then there is like 4 and that negative negative 4 minus 64 that's going to be my answer which is negative 68 if you mess up with the signs you're going to mess up with your answer and probably your point is going to 2 or 30 so let's say you're not sure about your answer you got this one but you're not sure whether this is right or wrong what should you do let's just type the exact function on Desmos okay f of x I'll type this I don't want to forget about it and then I'll remove all of the drawings on the from the screen okay let's get rid of that now f of x equals because Desmos can calculate your functions negative x squared and then that's my function I type the whole thing and then this is what I'm gonna type f of negative 8 f of negative 8 and then it'll tell me what the answer is negative 68 so again uh, sorry about that zoomed out graph and you can also see the graph if you just move around you can see the graph over here uh, so we know that now the answer is negative 68 let's submit it and then move on you can do the same thing with this question use Desmos to double check your work but all you have to do let's just this is easier than the other one take that x value plug it in for x now my question is what is the value of 4 minus 676 divided by 19 so this right here is 4 76 over 19 is 4 there's a negative right in front of it and then there's 4 so 4 minus 4 is 0 this is the value of f of 76 okay so when you plug in 76 that's what happens it equals to 0 I'm skipping this one this is pretty simple this is the same uh, you plug in 13 over here 13 over 13 is 1 negative 9 minus 1 is negative 10 okay let's let's do this one it's not hard at all not at all uh, you can use Desmos uh, or you can just do it by hand so basically this is my x value I want to plug it in over here for x underneath that square root what I have is 181 minus 81 right this is what I have and then there's a the negative in front of this 
and it equals to f of it's not x anymore it's 181 because I plugged it in I plugged it in over here so in the next step all you have to do is just basic subtraction 181 minus 81 is 100 and hopefully many of you know what square root of 100 is that equals to 10 without the square root and then there's a negative in front of it so the value of f of 181 equals to negative 10 And let's skip another level. This is pretty simple. Oh, okay, let's get back. Okay, this is good. Uh, oh, it's still the challenge zone. I don't want to deal with the challenge zone right now. Okay, let's do this question. This is going to be the last one. Uh, plug this in for x. Rewrite the whole thing. f of x becomes f of 1 because we plugged in 1 for x right side is 9 to the power of that's my x plus 9 9 to the first power any number to the first power raised right to the first power is the number itself so this equals to 9 plus 9 is 18 so this is the value of f of 1 and then okay let me show you this one as well it's not hard again uh, so let's rewrite the whole thing f of 144 because that's that number is my x now 5.48 times square root of 144 x becomes 144 minus 1.53 now let's scroll up a little okay let's just talk about this first 5.48 times square root of 144 this equals to 12 so basically it wants us to multiply 5.48 by 12 and then subtract 1.53 let's just do it over here uh, 5.48 times 12 minus 1.53 64.23 so that's all guys uh, if you want to evaluate a function take your original function use the number inside the parentheses to plug it in for x and then do the basic operations add subtract multiply divide sometimes you're going to square your root or deal with exponents but if it gets harder, then use Desmos, use a calculator. Uh, again, if you need help with how to decide whether you deal with a function or not, watch the videos for Q4 and Q5 on IXL. Uh, then you can get back over here to see how to evaluate the value of a function. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video.